Aries, let's do your reading. Let's find out what's happening. Spirits, what's happening with Aries? What's happening with Aries in the present? Okay, in the present we have the Princess of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Cups and the Strength card. Okay, so it looks like there's something here um, involving like your happy home, happy family that um, you're having to have strength with right now in the present but we're going to clarify these cards after I get them all laid out what happened in the past in the past we have the six of swords so I see you moving into calmer water here you might have actually moved Yeah, there was something in the recent past that you had victory on, that you moved forward. What are Aries thinking about, spirits? Okay, and then we have temperance. There's something here that you're trying to balance out with your emotions. In the near future, we have the Ace of Swords. This is a new beginning truth. Um, truth, clarity. There could be communication from someone. Okay, and then we have the Lovers. There's something here that you're holding on to that you don't want to let go of. You're holding on very tightly. And then we have the Four of Cups. You offered someone love or they offered it to you and somebody refused it. And then we have the Empress. Something that you're working on here that's going to come in for you. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords, so there could have been a painful ending to something. So let's clarify your cards. There he is. What's happening with Aries? One more time, Aries. What's happening with Aries? Aries. Okay, Aries. Let's clarify this Princess of Cups. This is a message. Okay, I see you here being very, we have the Queen of Pentacles, so I see you being very stable. This could have something to do with a uh, um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, too. Okay, and I see a painful ending here, but I can see that you're feeling better. This is Ten Swords in the back, just Ultimate Betrayal. And I see that someone's going to be rushing towards you with a lot of passion. 
someone that you have a lot of love for that you could have shared a home with. This could have been a marriage. Yeah, I see someone's going to be doing this, but they may not be doing it right now. But I see someone rushing towards you here with a lot of with a lot of passion. There's a lot of love here. Why is the Six of Swords here, Spirits? Yeah, there was something in the past. You put a lot of work and effort into, into love. This is a lot of love and emotions and a lot of time spent. It's hard to walk away from. I see you walking away from a connection here in the past and moving into calmer water. Why is the Six of Wands here, Spirits? Let's find out why the Six of Wands is here. Yeah, there was... This is in your energy. I'm not sure if this happened yet, but you will be recognized for something. And I see a great, huge offer coming towards you. Someone is noticing you and wants to, wants to offer you something, a great gift. And I see this is someone from your past. Why is the temperance card here, spirits? We do have the Sagittarius energy here too. And Cancer energy. Yeah, so you're thinking about success. You're trying to have patience. You're balancing out your emotions here. But I see you moving forward. You're going to be charging forward. Why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirit? Okay, the Ace of Swords is here. It's clarified by the Three of Cups, Judgment, and the Seven of Cups. So, um... I do see communication and truth coming in for you. If there's someone that you haven't spoken to, even if there isn't, there's a new start here. You're making a judgment call on something. And then we have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Three and Seven together are your Ten of Cups again. There's going to be a great celebration in the near future when this communication comes in. This is a new start. This could have something to do with like messages that you're going to be getting. Why are the lovers here, spirits? Why are the lovers here? Okay, so to clarify the lovers card, we have the two of swords. Um, involving this connection, there's a decision that needs to be made and you're not making this decision right now. You need to take the blindfolds off and make this decision. Why is the Four of Pentacles here, Spirits? And we have the World card. Yeah, so there's something that you've been holding very close to your chest something that you're holding on to but there's there's an ending to a cycle here there's a new beautiful cycle beginning for you why is the four of cups here spirits okay so 
So I feel like the Four of Cups is here because someone, I feel like this is you, is refusing this love offer from someone else. There's a love offer here that's being refused. This is being hidden right now. I feel like you're hiding this. Because I do see a wish fulfillment coming in for you. Why is the Empress here? Okay, so we got the King of Pentacles. So again, we have Burgos, Taurus, Capricorn energy. The Three of Swords. Okay. Yeah, so there is some growth that you're wanting to happen. You're looking at your future right now. You're making plans for the future. And you're there's something that you're starting that's going to bring in great abundance. This is huge abundance right here with the Ace of Pentacles. You have two new beginnings. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So there's a lot that's happening. Um... But you're really planning your future and waiting for whatever it is that you've began with the Empress. You're waiting for this to grow and for it to come to you. You're sitting back waiting. This is something that you planted. And I do see we have someone here who has a lot of sorrow. They have a broken heart. There was a painful ending with this King of Pentacles. I do see someone in your energy that's feeling brokenhearted. Because I do see you turning down an, a love offer in the future. And this, we have the devil card. So the reason that you're turning it down is because this could have involved um, like a three-party situation, codependency, something that you felt like you were stuck and chained to. Okay, so let's... Spirits, what messages do you have for Aries? Addictions are affecting your romantic love life, codependency. That's why the devil card's here. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings to each other okay and then let's get just one of these moonology cards what do aries need to know spirits don't let pride get in your way aries i don't i see you gaining a huge gift here from the universe and success being recognized. A wish fulfillment coming in for you. These are the messages that spirits had for you today. Aries and I hope they helped. And um, please like, comment, subscribe, leave me a message, let me know. And I will talk to you later. Bye Aries.